name's Tom Rao. I've got about 18,000 hours total time as a pilot. I'm an uh, on transport pilot. I'm retired Delta now, but uh, I'm rated uh, in single engine, multi engine land, and of course type rated in a number of uh, large transport category aircraft. Additional ratings include a CFI, II, MEI, uh, multi engine instructor, ground instructor advanced, and a uh, turbojet flight engineer. And like a lot of kids, I guess, you know, I started working at an airport and got interested in it and had a couple of guys there that would offer me time in their airplane if I would wash and wax the airplane for them, and I felt like that was a pretty good deal. I, I think it's just something you grow up with and it's a sport, hobby, and it, it keeps you sharp. And I teach. And if you're going to teach, you got to be actively involved. Well, my wife and I have a fondness for dogs. We get involved in rescue operations, which makes the airplane valuable to us. And uh, all of our dogs have been rescues and all of our dogs fly. And that's just been remarkable. Life's about memories and that's a way to make memories, really. I fly a G58 Beach Baron NXI Next Generation Avionics Suite. It's a G1000 NXI equipped aircraft. I have a GDL52 and I'm constantly trying to make my students aware of the value of having a second XM receiver. You know, in the event that you had an issue with the airplane, for example, an electrical fire of unknown origin, you were forced to turn off your avionics suite, you know, you would still have the availability of everything you had on the G1000 just in a different format presented in a different picture on your iPad. So there's a safety factor there in terms of the redundancy that is equal to or better than what I had as a captain on a jet at Delta. There's certain things that you can see with an onboard radar uh, and there's certain things you can't see. And the nice thing about Sirius XM's weather product is that it adds another layer uh, of safety which you know, really plays into the aeronautical decision making process for me. It, it allows me to get a more strategic big picture when I'm going to go uh, seven or 800 miles. You know, it just facilitates decision making on a long range spectrum. The Sirius XM weather features that, that I engage in the airplane, of course there, there's a selection. The wind feature and the ability to work out uh, route changes with center to take advantage of the wind is sort of a carryover from my airline days or in the Navy when we always felt like we didn't have enough gas. Being able to make gas literally by shortening the segment length, the, the wind feature is it's invaluable. The number of dollars saved as a result, I, I just don't think I could calculate it. I think the difference in the Sirius XM weather is it just seems to be uh, a better digital format. The ADSB weather, in my opinion, seems to be a little bit more pixelated, but I also think that the timeliness of the product is far better from the next red source. When I first purchased the airplane and had to bring it home, it just seems like there was a wall of thunderstorms everywhere I went. And uh, the XM weather product really bailed me out a couple of times because the radar system in this airplane is unlike any radar operated in the military or at, at the airline. You know, it seemed like all my buddies thought, wow, I can't believe he's going through that weather, but it, it was really a, rather unremarkable because of the tools I had. We have Sirius XM in the aircraft. Typically when I'm flying alone, it's uh, 50s and 60s music. I guess that's age dependent. And occasionally uh, just catch the news, you know, just kind of keep our minds going longer flights.